Hello, my name is Peter Stradin. Thank you for taking the time to watch this tutorial. The purpose of this particular tutorial is to give you some insights into the use of the uh, retirement planning tool which we've put together for you. It's pretty much a self-help, do-it-yourself tool. Fairly sophisticated, certainly in relation to what else is uh, out there on the internet, but nowhere near as sophisticated as some of the tools that uh, professional advisors might use when doing a, a retirement plan for you. The purpose of this tool is to give you a broad overview and a very accurate idea of just what your retirement status is likely to look like. For the purposes of the tutorial, I've chosen uh, our friend Mr. Joe Soap. He's 45 years old and he would like to retire at 65. He's also said that longevity in his family is quite common and he would like to plan to have sufficient capital to be able to provide him with his desired level of income right up to age 90. We're also assuming a 6% rate of inflation which will be applied to the figures between his current age of 45 and his retirement age of 65. Now the tool gives you a fairly comprehensive rundown and guide as to what is expected in terms of data input. So for your pension fund in this particular case, Joseph has been with his company a few years and he's accumulated 200,000 Rand as an investment value in the fund. After deducting costs of administration and insured benefits, the monthly contribution being provided by both himself and his employer, and which is going into the investment part of his pension fund, is two and a half thousand rand per month. He's expecting salary increases between now and retirement of five percent per annum and an investment return of ten percent per annum. We then also make provision for you to input information and detail on other investments. What I've done is I've uh, selected a, a coronation unit trust, current value of 150,000 Rand, and Joe is currently paying 1,000 Rand a month into that investment. That is escalating at 10% per annum, and he's anticipating a 12% per annum rate of growth. Now, if you have three, four, five, or six investments, you would put them in the requisite blocks here, put in the current values, put in your monthly contributions, whether there are any or not, put in the escalations and your expected rate of return, and the tool will work out a retirement value at age 65. Then, if you've been prudent and uh, having left one or two employers previously, you may have decided not to draw your, your pension um, fund value, and you may have put it into a preservation fund. So let's assume, for the purposes of this exercise, that Joe did in fact do that, and he's got some money in an old mutual preservation fund, currently valued at 150,000 Rand, and the expected return on that is 10% per annum. You would need to scroll down exactly the way I'm doing in order to get through to the different data capture windows. We also make provision to provide for realization of any other assets which you might sell at retirement. It could be a property, it could be a little business interest, it could be some paintings, it could be any number of things. And you would detail those here in this area. So in this case, I've put in a business interest, current value 200,000 Rand, and Joe's expecting a rate of growth on that value of 8% per annum. Now we're going to look at the actual income required at retirement. With what Joe is saying, in today's money, he would like 20,000 Rand a month. And he would like that to escalate every year in his retirement, in other words, from age 65 onwards, at 7% per annum. We make provision for you to take into account other sundry income. It could be a spouse's pension, it could be consulting fees that you might uh, continue to earn, it could be a work from home kind of income that you may anticipate, it could be any number of things. In this case, we've chosen to use a rental, and currently, let's say it's for a garden flat, currently being let for 2,500 Rand per month, and annual escalations of 6% per annum. Now, what the calculator is designed to do is to actually, in the first instance, work out any shortfall, if there is a shortfall, and then tell you what amount of money you would need to invest on a monthly basis between now and retirement. But in order for it to give you a reasonable figure, you need to tell the calculator 
what sort of annual escalation, if any, you can tolerate if you are to implement a, a new monthly investment, and also the investment return that you could expect to get out of the new investment that you may have to make. Now at this point, you would then hit the submit button. The calculator would then prepare a report for you, and you would come back to the screen, and the report would then be situated below. And here's the report. So I've preempted the, the submit function, and very briefly, it, it gives you a bit of a, a rundown on some retirement statistics, which uh, don't make very really pleasant reading. And what the report is saying is this calculator is designed to give you a rough idea of what your situation could look like and then estimate what amount you would need to save in order to get you to your financial goals in retirement. It's a summary of your current situation. It extrapolates and uh, works out what 20,000 Rand a month of today's money would be, assuming 6% inflation per annum at age 65. And it summarizes the capital that you would have accumulated, your pension fund if you have a provident fund, your investments, in this case it was your coronation investment, your preservation fund, in this case all mutual, and then the assets to be sold at retirement. You may recall that we took into account a, a business interest. And what it's saying is that the, your total capital at retirement would be 9,151,000, while the capital required to give you a desired level of income is 11.7 .7 million. So you've got a shortfall of approximately 2.5 million rand. Now, in order to provide you with an income all the way through to age 90, you would then need to save an extra 1,667 rand per month with a 10% per annum escalation in your contribution to the investment and assuming a 10% per annum uh, rate of growth. Not a dire situation in this particular example. You can then choose to print this out and you would do that by looking for the print button. It's lurking here somewhere. There we go. You can hit the print button and then it will set your document up so that you can print it and save it. There we go. There's your report, which you can save as a PDF, or you can print it out and keep it in a file. Please understand that this exercise is, should in no way be construed as being financial advice. We would urge you, should you find that you do have a shortfall or that you do need to implement some kind of action, that you consult with a suitably qualified and registered financial advisor. Thank you for watching. Should you not have an advisor, you're more than welcome to contact us and our contact details are on the, on the website.